innovation, it actually, it's the, this question of what if. I define innovation as commitment. More than just a good idea. A lot of questioning. Pushing the boundaries. If you're uncomfortable, you're probably doing it right. Persistence is essential. Learning to embrace failures. Fun, exciting, enjoyable, scrappy, long nights, working hard, stacks of pizza boxes. You finally found something that's so amazing and you just, you just know it works. So much of innovation has almost been accidental. I think it's almost magic. <laughs> I'm the inventor of a prosthetic hand. I graduated about two years ago and started Sector 67. The goal behind this space is really to provide people with a community workspace where they can all come together, work on projects, whether they're hobbyists or professionals. So Sector 67 is really a gym club for super nerds. I'm the CEO of Shine Medical Technologies, uh, which is a company uh, that is striving to become a world leader in the manufacture of radioisotopes for medical purposes. I think in our culture, we think failure is bad. But in innovation, failure is just learning which way to go. From point A to point B directly can be really constrictive and frustrating and you know, not necessarily taking advantage of the entire richness of the project and that, in fact, going from point A to point B and realizing that you have to circle around a bit and seeing, oh my gosh, there's this point C that's also really interesting and going through what they call a cloud of discovery and acknowledging that, that those aren't actually failures that are happening in that cloud, but things that get you to an ultimately innovative and really interesting destination. So at UW, you know, there's a lot of innovation happening. And I heard about this shoes competition. I came up with this idea for a dual monitor laptop. Neither of us having ever built anything like that before or ever done any electronics at all. Now we thought this was like the coolest sliced bread, you know, best thing in the world. Had we sat down on paper and tried to draw it all out, we would have thought, well, we don't know anything about electronics. We've never built anything in our entire lives. And now we want to take some expensive stuff and try to stick it together. And we ended up losing. We ended up not getting a thing. It sort of worked. The thing we learned was all the questions they asked us, we were like, wow, we didn't think of it that way. You know, you know, how are you going to take this to market? How are you going to build this? How are you going to protect yourself in this other way? And so the process of going to shoots that first year was very enlightening for us. And it didn't make us feel like, oh, darn, we lost. It was like, hmm, we're going to do this again, and we're going to do it a lot better. So we don't have failures here. We have learning experiences. So a great idea, obviously, has to have relevance and significance. Matching market need with truly technical awesome solutions. Does the device that you develop actually meet users' needs? And if it does, then it's probably pretty innovative. I was actually out riding my bike south of Madison and uh, I was riding through a bunch of cornfields and I was just looking at these cornfields as I was riding, you know, and I said, you know, there's a lot of corn out there. There's a lot of biomass out there. We are taking biomass, we're converting it over a catalytic process. We found that we were making a hydrocarbon component and when we smelled it, it smelled like gasoline. We actually took it, poured it into a lawnmower, it ran like gasoline and we started doing chemical analysis and we realized that we were making gasoline. For naturally occurring oil, it has to be kind of compacted, 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 and then it needs to sit there for millions of years almost. We can do it typically through our reactor system in about two hours. Byron is a company that came out of the University of Wisconsin getting up every day to do whatever is interesting to you and whatever motivates you is, is a privilege, really. I look around at the world and say, oh, that looks interesting to me. I want to learn about that today. Innovation is the, is the usefulness, if you will, of research and putting those ideas to use for the betterment of, of the world. You know, that, that is core to the university's value.